Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can control Z depth and depth of field on an EXR image in Photoshop. The first thing I need to do is to select the Z depth and I need to change its exposure. And the reason why I cannot keep it this way, as you can see it looks all white and it doesn't really reveal the information even though it's a 32-bit EXR image and therefore the data is built into this Z depth. However, the filter that I need to use in Photoshop only works on lower than 32 bits. And therefore, I need to adjust the Z depth before I change the bit depth mode of the image. In other words, here are the steps that you need to do. First, you select the Z depth. Next, you go to image, adjustment, then exposure. You keep fiddling with the exposure until you get to the result that would give you what Z depth is supposed to be like. And if you don't know what Z depth is supposed to look like, it should be like a fog kind of image. And you need to have as much as possible of a range of brightest pixels and darkest pixel. So in this case here, it depends of course on the lens that you're using in 3D and uh, the setup. But in this case here, maybe I could use something lower a little bit. So in this case here, even though this is not really dark, but there is enough of a difference between this tip here and the end of the ship. So that gives me a range of depth of field to play with. I'm just going to push it just a little bit more. So this way, hopefully the Z depth would be more effective. Hit OK here. And next, what I need to do is to go to image, then mode. Now, even if I want to change it to eight bits, don't merge, it's still going to be good enough to use. So now I'm going to hit Control A while selecting that Z depth and then hit Control C, then I'm going to hide it and no longer care to see it. Then I'm going to go to the channels and I'm going to create a new alpha layer. And I'm going to call this Z depth. And then control V. And then I'm going to select these and hide it. I don't really need to see it here as well. I just need to place it in here so I can use it in that filter that I'm going to be using now. So it's going to typically show you this as red, but once you click on any other layer, the red color would go away. Kind of a weird thing. Okay, now that I have made the mode into lower than 32 bits, I now can go into the filter, blur, and then lens blur. If you see this gray, that means you still have the mode to be as high as 32. I believe it does work on the 16 and also the 8, but not on the 32. All right, so filter, blur, and then lens blur. The first thing I need to do here is to change into the Z depth. Now, the favorite part for me about using Photoshop for Z depth is that it has the convenience of allowing the user to choose exactly where the focus point is supposed to be, meaning, now that I have set exactly to the map that I need, I can click here and it would give me the focus on this spot. If I click here, it's going to give me the focus there. And if I increase the radius, that's going to make the depth of field to be even shallower. So control space to zoom in and then click space bar to move, click and click. Obviously, it's an extreme depth of field to the point that it's kind of ridiculous, but now I'll tone it down and that's how it works. Okay, so here is a quick recap. I'm going to hide the beauty, select the Z depth, go to the image, adjustment, exposure, go all the way to minus 13, minus 14, something like that. Okay, select the Z depth, control A, control C to copy, then control D to deselect, hide it, go to the beauty and show it, go to the channels, go and create a new alpha, control V, control D, select here, deselect here, 
and then go here select on the beauty and then filter blur lens blur remember if it's gray that means you haven't changed the bit depth so image mode 8 bits don't merge filter blur lens blur change this to alpha 2 which is the z depth click 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 okay tab f f control 0 let me know what you think